Have you heard of rhizophagy? Rhizophagy is the process at which growing root tips on all plants that have so far been studied have the ability to take in microbes and to remove their cell walls with superoxide of reactive oxygen and then to feed and, and even consume some of these fungi and bacteria and then have them circulate in the growing root hairs of that root from that root tip and repopulate and reestablish their cell walls and then eventually get released, some of them, not all of them, into, as they help the, cell, the, 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 the root hairs grow, they get released back out at the root tips. So exodates and endophytes are taken in and released and, in, and, and included inside the plant root all at the same time in this release of exudation and sucking back in. A, it's a breathe in and breathe out kind of motion. So rhizophagy is this, is this amazing concept where plants are actually feeding on microbes. And this may very well predate in evolutionary terms mycorrhizal fungi's relationships with plants. We don't know. That's one of the, the there that's one of the theories currently because it seems to be primary just with the way exudation comes out and the way it goes back in is it this constant um, this constant flow and flux of flow in in the rhizosphere. So rhizophagy, it's a it's a new discovery and they've, not a lot of people know about it yet, but I wanted to share it with you. Plant roots are consuming bacteria and fungi, and then they're endophytic, and they're repopulating, and, and when we think of microbes, this is something that hasn't been covered anywhere else, but when we think of microbes, we, we, we don't always realize that they've got all these products, they've got all these outputs, because often when we talk about bacteria, we talk about how we need to have like protozoa feeding on bacteria to release the nutrition in them. But in this scenario, the superoxide is removing the cell walls so the nutrition can be released in the form of electrolytes. Um, but, but there's also other things that are happening when these microbes are repopulating. They're feeding and consuming. They're also releasing other things conceivably because endophytes plant growth promoting uh, bacteria and fungi um, they are actually like like fertilizers internally and they actually have st they, they release um, stimulants and hormones and they do all these things to cause the plant to do certain things and it may be to release organic acids and maybe release you know more sugars it but it's always specific to feeding into the life cycle and the reproduction of that, that microbe. And so this relationship is a very one much of give and take and, um, you know, uh, of gr rapid growth and um, regrowth and, and consumption. I mean, there's death in there, you know, those, those microbes do get consumed to a certain proportion. Um, but all the growing root tips of all plants, they're always new, so this is happening on all of those. And um, these are microbes that we, we, we can work with. These are microbes that we uh, can in inoculate plants with. These are microbes that we can, um, one of the, here, just, I'll just tell you one. Um, I've got, I've got charts in my book that, that go through each microbe and what they do, where they're found, um, all, the, all the benefits um, and the partnerships. But baker's yeast, brewer's yeast, you know, the cerveza yeast, that is the yeast that is actually endophytic in the wild in so many plants. And so when we think about the fact that we have um, wild yeast and we think about all the ingredients that went into older breads and we think about you know grapes um, fermenting into wines 
all these plants already had the Saccharomyces cerevisa in them, and, and it was the process of unlocking that 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 allowed us to ramp it up and create more things and control it and then use it in all these different ways and use it in a, at a higher, you know, more efficient, um, trained microbiology, microbiological level. And so when we inoculate our plants with like something like EM, which has lots of different yeasts in it um, and other facultative microbes, um, we really give that rhizosphere this jolt. And the thing is, these microbes release so many different plant fertilizers, stimulants, and hormones that the plants perform totally different. And then they generate heat. So, so um, like, like at the rhizospheric level, you've got all these things happening, generating heat. Uh, keeping the roots um, really nourished uh, with the microbial metabolites that they prefer. It's a fantastic symphony of things going on. And then when you have um, mycorrhizal relationships happening, um, that's a whole other layer on top of all this. And they're, they're extending, and in some cases, they're completely encasing and encoding. So uh, those, those relationships of, of, of rhizosphagy are kind of taken over at that point, too. Uh, so it's, it's really fascinating to see that <clears throat> even when mycorrhizal fungi isn't there, there's a process at which it's, all, it's still working with fungi, and, and yeasts um, soil yeasts are incredibly important and ubiquitous. There's yeast on like everything. So um, keep that in mind. <laughs> if you're interested in this sort of thing, I urge you to listen to my interview with Dr. James White, the co-author of the 2018 paper on rhizophagy that I read and studied as I was writing this book, Regenerative Soil. If you would like a copy of this book, you can pre-order it on my website thepermaculturestudent.com and it's a hardcover, it's amazing, and it's, it really bridges the gap between the biology and the chemistry so that we can have a real understanding of how things work. I map the soil cycles for all essential plant nutrients, which has never been done before. I've got all the EH cycles for plant nutrients that's never been done before published in one place. This is a vital resource that if you're working with soil, you're going to want. So check that out, thepermaculturestudent.com. <laughs> Thank you so much. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. I'm Matt Powers.